Hey, what's up, Brian? This is a quick demo video for you for your 89 Sabres DM 2020. Uh, this is installed as CFX, only half of it, as you know, we're going to concentrate on uh, just doing one half at a time, a little bit more uh, easier on the wallet that way. Uh, but this has a completely removable chassis. It is a two button setup. So your red switch up here will be your power. Your silver switch right behind it will be your auxiliary. All right. Um, you've got a Carl Chen PCB in there. Um, I'll show you that here in a second. And we also have NeoPixel accent. So we have a NeoPixel accent for this lens here. And then also for this one over here, I programmed these on the CFX to do kind of a pulsing when the saber's off. And then when you turn it on, it will match the blade. All right. And then I got all the fonts on here that you sent me. Uh, you sent me Ksith's, the bold one, uh, uh, Crimson Menace from Ksith. And then also uh, there was a battle font. And I apologize. I don't remember who that's from. But there, in that particular font folder, there was three different fonts. You had Battle 1, Battle 2, and Battle 3. So they're all on here. All right. Um, there are some things going on in this. There are some modifications I had to do. So first of all, to get to the chassis, what you want to do is you want to unscrew both of these. When you unscrew this one and take it off, uh, you don't have to worry about anything. This is just kind of a chassis retention. But when you unscrew this one, you kind of want to hold it like this because it's what's holding your emitter on. All right, so we'll unscrew this. Don't drop it. <laughs> so uh, when you take that off, this comes right off, right? And then when you take this off, you'll notice there's a spacer right here inside of this guy you can literally just pull the spacer out now the reason i didn't make this part of the chassis was because when you're using this in a single saber setup you're going to use this pummel right here um, and it doesn't go inside of the chassis at all all right so this spacer makes up for that but when you use the coupler which i've got here and i did have to modify this a little bit so i'll show you what i did but when you use the coupler and you put it inside the saber like this and lock it down it actually goes inside the saber you know it well it's the same length as the spacer i made so i had to make the chassis able to accommodate this you can always add material but you can't take it away so that that's why the spacer there all right um on this guy the old style that i used to do on this particular saber only had one of these flanges coming out you know, I have one flange coming out right here. It did not have another flange on the other side. This one did. Um, it had this flange right here came out. It was a, it was identical to this other one. So I did chop that off on both sides, nice and even, uh, rounded off those corners. So there's nothing sharp there. And then, um, I also shaved down a little bit of the width of this tab. All right. And I will show you why here in a second. Um, before you take your chassis out, what you want to do is come over here and unscrew your pummel or not your pummel, your emitter rather. And I did do something to the emitter as well, but then you'll see your chassis. You can push it straight back. Don't push on the pins, kind of just grab the chassis material, push it straight back <clears throat> until it pops out the back and then you can take it all the way out like that. All right. Um, on the old style of this saber. There used to be a step inside the diameter here. I went ahead and I put this on my lathe and I put that step back into the emitter um, because I needed it to go ahead and slide over your CFX board like that, right? I needed it to slide in there. <clears throat> on this new version, I would have had to, I would have had to figure out how to back up that CFX and it wouldn't have looked good. There's a lot of stuff going on. So I just went ahead and I put that on my lathe and I machined that little step in there. So now it slides in. No problem. All right. So that's one thing I did to the emitter. Um, I like to put a 28 millimeter speaker in this saber because I think it sounds really good. It is a, it, I mean, it's a pretty hefty boy to have like a 24 or 22 millimeter, uh, just because when you put it in staff mode, you're looking at a saber, you know, a couple feet long and it's running 22 millimeter speaker. So I like to put this 28 millimeter in here, but the thing about this is, when you put this in here, it has to be angled at a specific angle, as you can see right there. And then on top of the angle in the chassis, I have to come back over here, if I can zoom in, and I have to sand both sides of the uh, speaker itself. I have to contour it basically 
to the diameter of the chassis. All right, so that's a little bit tricky to do, but I think it's worth it for the sound quality. Um, you've got your power and aux here. You flip it over here. You've got your NeoPixel accent right here. And then you've got another one over here by my finger here. And the, those are for the lenses. All right, so let's throw a battery in this guy. Spring side is your negative over here. There was not enough room for me to hide my wiring like I, uh, like I would normally try to do. So I just put it in some uh, shrink tube. Uh, I had to run, you know, all three wires for the NeoPixel accent past the battery. Then the two uh, wires for the speaker past the battery. And then the wire for the negative side of your of your battery terminal past the battery. So I just tried to make it neat in there for you. And then, um, you know, all these wires for, for the switches and then also for this NeoPixel accent. They come into the chamber right before the battery ends and they all go to the board. All right, just kind of swooped up to the board. Um, so that's why I did that. All right, throw a battery in this guy real quick. Get our boot up sound. Then as you can see, when the saber is off, I have these pulsing. All right, so very important. You'll want to line up your switch channel here to the two red switches here. But before we do that, we can go ahead and we can screw our emitter back on. So screw our emitter back on. We got our two switches here. Line that up nice, and as long as you're straight, it will slide all the way in, no problem. And then now you can actually see your two LEDs or your two lenses are pulsing. All right, so after we put that on, we wanna take our spacer. If we're gonna use it in single saber mode, you'll notice there's a cutout in the spacer right here. That is for this area right here you know, where these greeblies screw back into. All right, so just take this, cut out and line it up with those holes. It's very easy to do. Push it all the way down just like that. And then take this lastly, put it in, and then we'll need to screw it in. Now the silver greebly is a little bit longer than the red one. And that is so that it can hold the coupler or the pummel cap, all right? So it's the silver one that goes all the way over here. All right, so now when I turn this off, you got your lenses pulsing and then we come over here and hit power. These are lighting up. And now the saber is pretty loud. Blaster bolt. And your lenses react to auxiliary button being pressed. Or holding it down for blade lock up. and you hold the power to turn it off. All right, so we'll go ahead and throw a blade in this guy. Um, if you didn't know, this Sabre takes a one inch diameter NeoPixel blade, all right? And if uh, you have a brand new blade, you're probably gonna wanna do some sanding because this emitter is very tight, all right? So blaster bolts, right? A flash on flash, you got good flash on flash too. Or hold it down for a blade lock up. And I gave you twist off, and also you have twist on. So twist it to the right, turns it on, you twist it to the right again turns it off, all right? And to change sound fonts, what you want to do is just hold down auxiliary. Sound bank selection. You can use either button to cycle up or down. This, is, I believe, is battle two. You want to change color, just hold down aux and twist your wrist. Every time you do that, it's a color change. Right. green blade and now your lenses are green these will always match your blade so we got blue a blue blade and blue lenses right but we'll go back to red just like that all right just like that <laughs> we'll, we'll go to another one sound bank selection battle three Selection. 
This is the Crimson Menace. This is a old power. And then the next one will be the bold one. Sound bank selection. General Kenobi. Of course, this blade is red. Um, I originally left this red to show you how to do color change, but I forgot and we went over that earlier, but we'll do it again now. And we've got a blue right here for General Kenobi. Go ahead and we'll break it down you have one blade retention screw i thought this had more than one but no it just has the one uh one blade retention screw loaded or located right on the top of your emitter right here and that's plenty all right you see it right there next to my pinky all right so again we'll come over here we'll take our greeblies off watch out for the silver one because it's the one that's holding the emitter on or the uh Pummel on rather, pop that off, take our spacer out, unscrew our emitter, push it straight back until you can see your chassis, pull it right out, and then from the positive side of the battery, which is right here by your board, you can pop it out just like that. And the board is situated in, in a way that you can pop your, LA, your uh, SD card in and out in case you ever want to make any changes in the future. All right, so that is basically your uh, DM2020. I'm going to put all of this back together off camera. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, and I'll get this out in the mail to you by tomorrow. Thanks, man.